Hey everyone. Okay, so I figured I would change position from last week and not just me sitting on the couch to talk about this. So, who might be a little bit shorter since I'm standing? We'll see. Uh, I am at the end of week three. As you can see, I actually have clothes on and not just my garment. I actually have a different garment on than what you've seen because you've seen the full black one. Um, so I have changed garments into, I needed to go down a size, uh, which I think I said end of last week. Uh, it came in the mail. Uh, so it is, I was able to change into like a bikini one and it goes like under breast so I can actually wear a bra. It's a loose fitting one, which is why not the best. Um, but I can actually wear clothes. So woo. Um, let's see what other changes. I mean, I'm standing, I'm moving around, I'm doing stuff. Um, I'm a little hunched over still, like I can't stand fully straight up, but it's a lot better. Um, they say not to force it, so I'm not going to. Uh, however I walk, it's how I walk. And as the day goes on, I get a little more hunched over um, if I'm doing stuff, like kind of like a heavier day. Uh, let's see what else. Yesterday was the first time I tried to drive, um, which it was the, it's the very, that was the end of week three. So, um, I didn't try beforehand. I was cleared to, but I still couldn't really fully sit up. So I didn't want to like attempt it and then not be able to drive and get home or get stuck or hurt myself. I do drive a manual. Um, so I have to engage like my body. <laughs> so I was a little nervous too, uh, but I did, did drive yesterday. I was a little sore, not gonna lie, after I drove, but it was, it was okay. It was fine. I was fine. Um, let's see. I started working out in week three. I did light, light cardio last week because the doctor cleared me for it in week two and said that I needed to just start, like, walking more, so I totally did that, but I actually started working out, uh, in week three. I will post some snippets that I filmed for, um, my TikTok. I'll post them at the end just so you can kind of see. Day one, I took it really, really, really slow. Um, I was really nervous of hurting something or pulling something. Um, and then I'll just do like day one and day five. And then day five, you can see a huge, huge difference. I upped my endurance, of, not even endurance, but just like how hard I was going because I felt a lot more comfortable. Um, it's still nowhere near what I used to work out because I come from hardcore workouts, hardcore, you know, weightlifting, things like that. So it's, it's barely anything like I used to, but I get it. I'm still healing. It's a little disappointing seeing like what I'm doing right now compared to what I was doing like literally a month ago. Um, but I get it. So I'll just keep doing that. And then I think it's next week that I'm going to try to incorporate some light lifting because you still don't want to engage your core muscles really too much at all. I mean, any workout is going to engage them, but you know what I mean? Like lifting, if you're doing it heavy, fully works your core um, and you're not supposed to do that yet. So I'm not going to be doing that, but I'm hoping to kind of start doing some arms and legs along with the medium cardio that I'm doing. Um, okay, let's see. Belly button update. It's not healed. It looks a lot better. Um, I keep saying a lot better. Like to you guys, if you see pictures, you're probably still going to be traumatized from it. <laughs> it doesn't look good, but uh, you saw the pictures last week and day one was terrible. Day five was better. Like there was a clear difference and it's even better now. Doctor, the surgeon's still not worried about it. I had a follow up with him. He's like, it's healing how it's supposed to. It's not a problem at all. You know, it's just going to take time but it, it's gonna heal how it needs to. So I'm not really concerned. I'll put pictures in uh, for this week now too. So for these five days, um, and you can see it progressing. It is getting better. Uh, swelling has went down a lot. Uh, it comes and goes. I mean, obviously after I work out, it swells back up quite large. And like, as the day goes on, it, the swelling goes up. But when I wake up in the morning, swelling is way down, like way, way, way down. Um, so that's good. Uh, I really like how it looks. The incision is actually getting better too. It was really, really like, um, uh, yep, that word, <laughs> uh, like bunched, uh, bunched on the side here, like the skin, it was very like bunched up, uh, and like ripply. And he said, you know, it would slowly like 
go down and sometimes it might not even be fully flat on the side because that's where they take like the majority of your skin and then like they've pulled it and that's like the tiny bit of excess and that's where it's stitched up because it's completely smooth down here um but once i actually went into the tighter garment it already started smoothing out that incision I'm not too concerned about my incision or scar. It was never a concern of mine. I don't mind scars. It doesn't bother me. It's low low enough down. Nobody, literally nobody's gonna see it unless I want them to see it. Like even in like a bikini, if I wear one, like I'm never gonna wear one that just comes down to here, like all the way here. Like I might not wear high waisted, but it, it's still gonna cover it. So the scar has never been an issue for me, uh, but it is actually looking way better. So that is kind of nice. And then um, it's still not a scar yet. It's still an incision. But once it gets to scar stage, I'm sure it'll start fading too. I'll, I'll use the products. Um, I'm not gonna go crazy on it because like I said, it doesn't really bother me, but I will do you know, maintenance on it to make sure that it's healing and that I'm fading it to the best that I can. Um, I'm not gonna just skip that step. Let's see. Um, like I said, I'm. this is pretty much it. Like. I don't know how to show you in clothes and I, and I have these, uh, but you know, there's, it, it's, it's went down. I mean, there'll be pictures at the end, but it's went down so much the swelling wise. Um, and then, like I said, I'm in this garment now. So it's a bikini style one. I'm covered down there, uh, but it's not like the full like length one, which is kind of nice. Cause like I said, I can wear stuff again. Um, but yeah, you can see some of the swelling still, but other than that, it is flat. And then there's nothing down here, which you'll be able to see in the um, the pictures, obviously, because I post those at the end and there's like no overhang skin left, nothing like that. You can kind of see the outline of my gauze through this for my belly button because it's still gauzed up. Um, what else have I done? What else has changed? Staying awake is a lot easier. I was, you know, last week when I is when I started work, and yeah, it was, it was difficult. I was really, really, really tired. Um, but this week's been pretty good. Like still kind of sleepy here and there, but I can make it through a day without actually like almost falling asleep. So that's good. Like the tiredness has went away, um, except for like, you know, at bed, nighttime. Um, what else? Like I said, this one's gonna be probably much, much shorter because like week three was pretty good. Nothing really happened. It's just been better and better. Um, there is more tightness. That is one thing, more burning and tightness. It's healing. So that, like I said, like the first couple weeks to me was like kind of healing from like the surgery portion of it. I know that sounds weird, but like the operation portion of it, like healing like the outside and that wasn't that bad. I've had wounds, open wounds and stuff. It just, whatever. Now we're into the healing of the inside, like the actual like in <laughs> abdominal muscles and nerves and everything like that. And yeah, it, it tingles, it burns. There's weird like shoots of pain and it, I can't do anything about it because it's not on the outside. It's not the type of like pain or like, um, issues that you are, are thinking like when you get hurt and you can put ice on it or you can take a pain pill or something like that like I don't feel like that's what this is it's it's the nerves healing themselves and there's just nothing that can touch that my opinion I I have tried like you know like Tylenol ibuprofen here and there it, it doesn't touch the pain and it's not intense pain it's just uncomfortable I think I've said that word literally this entire journey um I just don't feel like I have had any intense unbearable pain I've had worse pain in my life than any part of this journey so far even like day of day after like I I've had worse pain my like when I my appendectomy when I had um appendicitis th that was more pain like oh my god like beforehand like the worst horrible pain uh and then the surgery uh, that was okay like it hurt but that that was fine and then like I had gallstones and I had my emergency gallbladder surgery that was the worst pain of my life worse than the stomach tuck so I I don't know I was really nervous about the pain and it just hasn't been an issue for me honestly I've heard horror stories I've heard people who are like super happy with the results but they said that like it's hard that if they had to go back it'd be hard for them to do it because of the pain and I just just haven't 
experienced that. Luckily, like, yay for me. Um, but that hasn't been an issue for me. I don't know. Uh, I do take ibuprofen every day. Helps with the swelling. Has nothing to do with the pain. Um, but it, it helps with swelling. So I have continued taking ibuprofen every day. Um, and then what else? I mean, showering's perfectly fine. I, I talk about that each week, but yeah, I mean, that that's perfectly fine. I'm standing, working out, and moving around and stuff, so uh, showering has been not a problem at all. Um, I'm more comfortable outside of my garment. I know I mentioned before that it's like my security blanket still is, um, but like, I know I said the first week and, it, and even the second week that I couldn't really be out of it, that I didn't like it. I felt weird. I felt uncomfortable. I felt like, like just insecure. Um, and I don't mean like headspace wise, I mean quite literally that things weren't secured. Uh, now, I mean, I still feel like that. I feel more comfortable in my garment, but I can wash it after taking a shower and laying here on the couch without it on while I'm drying and I'm not having a panic attack freaking out. Like I do feel okay outside of it. I do work out in my garment because I mean, you're supposed to wear it 24 seven. So I'm not gonna work out, which is like that helps hold everything in while I actually like the little bit that I'm engaging my core muscles while doing exercise because it's inevitable. You know, I need the garment on. So definitely if you're in this boat, don't take it off to work out. Uh, definitely keep it on. Like you definitely need it on when you're working out. Um, let's see. I returned to the office, like I've been remote. I actually returned to the office um, for a week, like it'll be week four, um, that'll be actually be in the office physically. So hoping that goes good because it's still a little hard for me to sit upright, but it's week three, like at the beginning of week three, because I was supposed to go back to the office uh, for this week and I could not because I couldn't sit up straight like at all so there was no point there was no way to do it I couldn't stand for eight hours I work an office job but we have standing desks I couldn't have even done that so I stayed remote and then I was like we'll play it by ear for week four um I mean end of week three I, it's world of difference from day one of week three just with like my mobility uh and like I said I drove yesterday which was the end of week three so I I should be just fine to go back to the office it'll be a little bit of a change you know sitting straight up and you know alternating between that and standing because I pretty much stayed reclined on the couch while working um but yeah so th that'll be kind of a nice change of scenery I hate working remotely <laughs> I know some people love it I hate it it's terrible last year I loved coming back this year and then we pretty much came back the month before my surgery so I was only in the office for a brief amount of time and then I had to go back to being off for two weeks and then remote for uh, two weeks actually um so one week whatever um so I am excited to go back I just hope it's okay and I can come home if it's not but I'm excited to go back next week uh let's see anything else before I jump off I am still sleeping on the couch uh I cannot wait to go back to the bed going to try it this weekend um tomorrow so tomorrow will be my first time attempting to sleep in the bed again since I tried too soon but like I find myself like I stay reclined and then like when I wake up in the morning on the couch like I'm almost fully flat so I mean my legs are up but like my body is flat like the pillows have flattened down so I definitely don't need to stay reclined like fully like I used like I was like this reclined and then like legs up um, my cat's playing with the toy, sorry. So I'm thinking I can go back to bed. I'm really hoping so because the couch is killing me. I'm so over the couch, ready for bed. Um, so I will update that in week four because that'll be part of week four. I haven't even tried it yet. Uh, but I'm excited to actually sleep in bed if I am able to. I know most people can. It's just like I said, I, it's, we don't have a headboard. We don't have any sort of frame. My mattress is literally, quite literally just on the floor. Um, so I am able to like get down into the bed and up. I did, I have been practicing that. That doesn't hurt at all. It's just the laying in bed because there's no way to prop stuff up. Um, I tried it and it's not, and I still have to be slightly propped up. Like I can't just lay completely flat. My legs still have to be propped up too. So I am going to try that. We'll, we'll see. Fingers crossed for me. Um, anything else? I don't think so. Week three has been pretty good. Um, I, I'm really excited really happy with the results so far 
lots of healing left to do, but really, really happy with the results. So yeah, I think I'm going to sign off uh, and then I will post pictures and then I'll be back next week. Bye guys. Okay, here are some pictures from week three. Um, yep, I'm able to stand up. I'm kind of putting clothes on. I was trying on, you know, different things, and then I finally made it back to bed, so that was exciting. And then here's just my typical warning. Uh, the coming uh, pictures are going to be of, like, my actual tummy. All of my bits are covered. I've included some of my actual incision this time. And, of course, uh, my belly button and how that's healing, so... Uh, you've been warned <laughs> ish graphic um so this is my tummy currently I'm really really happy with how it's looking um and then here's some of my incision this isn't anything to be concerned about it's just showing where it kind of opened up a little bit and it's back together and then this is the actual incision it goes from hip to hip all the way over there's a little bit of bunching on that side uh but the surgeon said it would go down with compression and time and then here are <laughs> here's the belly button um I included day one through five again, just so you could see the comparison, even though that was in last video, last week's video, but look how much better it looks. I mean, it's getting there. I mean, this is literally less than 14 days and it already looks like, you know, day 10 there. So I am not concerned at all on how this is healing or going to heal. Um, I feel like it's going to end up looking perfectly fine. And like I said, the surgeon's not concerned about it at all. Uh, no necrosis or anything like that. Um, so nothing to worry about, just needs to, uh, close back up and finish healing. Um, anywho, so that is week three. I will be back next week for, uh, week four progress. All right. Peace everyone. Hey everyone. Okay. First official workout after my tummy tuck surgery. Um, I'm still wearing my garment. Actually, this is my newest one, tighter compression. Um, and I am cleared for medium to light cardio is how he put it. So no, not my normal lifting, things like that. So I am about to do my first one. It's probably only going to be 15 minutes and then I'll do the other 15 minutes this evening. Still a little hunched over, but let's do it. Okay, so day five of working out uh, light, medium, cardio, that's what I'm cleared for. Uh, same routine that you saw on day one. I'm going a little bit uh, faster, a little bit harder. This is what you can call that, but I am compared to the first video. Um, I Each day has gotten a little bit easier. I'm not as scared that I'm going to hurt myself. Um, day one, I was just nervous as heck to work out, so that's why it was like, so slow. <laughs> um, bit better today. Um, it still kind of burns and hurts when I twist and especially this one because it's engaging your core and I'm not cleared for core work yet but this isn't like mat work or 
you know, uh, sit-ups or push-ups or plank or anything like that. So I, I'm allowed to do that. I just took it slower. Um, so post-op tummy tuck. This is week three, end of week three. Um, so I've been working out all of week three. Uh, next week, I'm going to keep doing this, uh, but amp it up a bit. And then every other day, add in a light uh, weightlifting. Because I also am not cleared for core work still as of week four. And so weightlifting is heavy, heavy core work because you're engaging your core in order to like lift up. So I'm going to do really, really light weights, nothing I'm used to. Um, I usually lift heavy, but hey, got to start somewhere again.